Ladies and gentlemen, this is your favourite magical boy, Bamboo Fighting, and I have good news. It's finally here. Kind of. No, I'm not talking about the coronavirus's imminent spread here in merry old England, but about the long-awaited demo of the even longer-awaited Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I downloaded just as soon as I was able to seep out of bed this morning so that I could bring you my thoughts and feelings. This demo gave me chills. Deep chills, chilly chills. As soon as that music began playing and Aerith appeared on screen, I had goosebumps, and it was a feeling that was sustained throughout the entire demo. Somehow, Square Enix have managed to perfectly capture that feeling Midgar gave me as a fat 10 year old boy. Oof, I'm old. The world and characters look fantastic, playing out in 1080p just as the isometric 32 bit game played out in my mind. It really is like they managed to pluck the scenes out of my imagination and commit them to visual form with added splendour, enhanced by the incredible updated soundtrack that tickles on my nostalgia. If it was just visual improvements though, I'd be far less impressed. The demo centres around Cloud, Barrett, Jesse, Biggs and Wedge's venture into the Mako reactor at the start of the game, and all of the characters are brought to life with new dialogue and voice acting that really encapsulates the cast and their relationships. Cloud's taciturn and dismissive attitude flourishes in this remake. Barrett's larger than life personality blossoms with the new voice acting, and Jessie is just as cute and lovable as she's ever been. It's utterly remarkable just how much effort they put into really capture these characters with new material without feeling even slightly off. One of my favourite parts is the antagonistic banter between Barrett and Cloud, enhanced by new takes on cutscenes and additional lines from the two that really highlight the animosity between the rambunctious freedom fighter and the muted merc in ways that never failed to bring a smile to my face just as they did in the original. From Barrett's shoulder barging Cloud to the small quips they give each other in battle, that relationship I had adored as a kid is captured perfectly here. Speaking of battle, the main concern I had for this remake was the new battle system that drops the turn-based nature of the original for more frantic, action-oriented combat. Fortunately, what was displayed in the demo is great. It feels like a real evolution of the original's ATB system, enhancing it with real-time elements in a way that feels like the natural next step for the system, rather than just doing away with it completely. Most of the battle plays out in real-time, where you can attack, dodge and block enemies while building your ATB meter. Once you've amassed one or two of these, you can slow down the action to a crawl and get to the strategizing, selecting which ability, spell or item you want to use in the moment to do the most damage to your opponents. In fact, they took the opportunity to use this to add even more strategy. The game features a pressure and stagger mechanic, where attacks will build up the enemy's pressure meter, which then allows you to use abilities and spells to turn that into a stagger where enemies will be temporarily put out of commission for you to pummel to death however you see fit. It's a great new addition that only further enhances the game, adding another element of strategy for you to keep an eye on while in the real-time part of the action as you formulate your plan of attack. There is a classic mode for those who want something ostensibly more akin to the original game's combat, but I honestly wouldn't bother. All it does is automate the real-time action, which feels like a massive drag on the combat's pacing and momentum turning it from an enjoyable and frantic battle into a boring slog. It's further exacerbated by the fact that this mode tunes the difficulty to easy, which reduced any kind of challenge the game presented to absolute redundancy. One thing that isn't on display in the demo is the customization of materia and abilities. But if the core combat on display is anything to go by, I can't wait to see the extra level of strategy and intensity that those factors bring to the game. Based on this demo, I think Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be the perfect update to an already incredible game. It just feels like that same world we all fell in love with so long ago, with extreme enhancements at no perceivable cost. Hopefully this points to the remake being the ultimate version of the game, and I can't wait to revisit Midgar when the full game, well, part one, releases next month. Want more coverage of JRPGs and other games out of Japan? Then don't delay, subscribe today! And if you fancy having a chat about Final Fantasy VII Remake or anything else, come join my Discord or follow me on Twitter, which you'll find links to in the description below. But until next time, see you Space Cowboy!